Hey, what's up? Listen, bringing you breaking news in the Shaquilla Robinson case. The Mexico Attorney General, Daniel De La Rosa, has spoken to a local reporter in the Baja California Sur area. And I got to tell you the things he's saying. You guys, we need to bring this case home. This man got on live and did his best to explain what was going on in the case, how there's no impunity, how the couple six are going to be dealt with, how they're not going to leave any stone unturned. But how can they truly promise this when the link they need to prove that it was actually a homicide makes them, their country, or that area, rather, the local authorities, look so bad that you are willing to let guilty people go who have not only played a part in the death and if not the death of getting away with the getting away from justice how can you sit there and say that you're doing everything you can he gave an interview when he explained how come they didn't arrest the couple six immediately i know in translation something's a little lost but their investigation uh thing is a lot like america what is it something happens it doesn't sit right they do investigation. With, they bring people in for questioning. When they have enough info, they take it in front of a judge. They uh, they take it in front of a judge. They try to get warrants to get people arrested. And then they try them for the case. That's all they're doing. Even in the translation, you're basically describing pretty much what happens in America. Another reason why this is so important, I feel like they are trying to do some big PR. They are not allowed in Mexico to give any information on an ongoing case and investigation. So any information that he's giving is very general information. Okay, you're letting us know the investigation process. We can Google and get the investigative process. Let's actually talk about what was said. Okay, because the one thing that they keep skirting over Comments keep getting deleted. Nobody wants to talk about it. The one thing the attorney general is skirting over and that I think is a linchpin is why is there a conflict between the time of death and the autopsy report and what the doctor said? How can you say that we were told it was an accident so we let them go home? But who told you it was an accident? Who vouched for it? The doctor, those two police officers, right? And the local authority. If you don't know... America is investigating the people in Mexico. The people in Mexico just want to point to the Cabo Six and, and call it the end of the case. But what happens to the people that are also left there? Also, there was an interesting comment that people made that the reason why it's being tried in Mexico is because the crime occurred in Mexico. Okay, but so did Matthew Taylor's and that got prosecuted in America. Um, the uh, Mexico wants to prosecute. Okay, so did the people in the Matthew Teller case. This just happened a few months before Tranquilla. Okay. Um, also, most importantly, the parents want them persecuted in Mexico. No, that is not true. The parents want them persecuted. The parents want the Cabo Six and all their, whoever's responsible, held responsible, thrown in jail and made the pay. From my understanding, the parents do not care whether it happens in Mexico or whether it happens in America. So why are people on the Mexico side trying to make it seem like the parents want to do that when that's not the case? There's another question we have to answer. All right. They said that once the autopsy was obtained, the parents, Shankula's father himself said he had to pay for an autopsy. He said, listen, so attorney said, right? They didn't even start the investigation because they were told it was from an accident. Who told them it was an accident? That doctor, Dr. Carolina. How come as much as the attorney general is talking big and bad, why isn't Carolina, why hasn't she been questioned? Why hasn't Carolina been taken in? Again, she might not have been in direct calls of Shankola's Robinson's case, but because of her actions, doing 14 rounds on of CPR on a dead body, five administering five doses of adrenaline and six things of the shock pad all in a dead body that the autopsy, if that's what you're going for and that's what opened this investigation, said she was dead by three. You, the attorney general says that Dr. Carolina or somebody, there was a 911 call 
saying that somebody had died of accidental death. That means, that means that Dr. Carolina in the police report instructed Winter Donovan, okay, to call 911. She didn't call 911 for Shanquilla. She called 911 to what the doctor told her to say, right? Because it's in the police report to say that their friend had just died of an accidental death. Does that sound right? This doctor was also young. She didn't have much. Was she open to maybe taking a bribe? Now, I hate to get into this, but we need to ask, why is Mexico completely ignoring the fact that this 911 call that was made, that made sure that an investigation didn't start, that 911 was directed and Winter Donovan, according to the police report, the doctor directed Winter Donovan to call 911 and to, for what to say. She did not call for an ambulance for a sick friend. She called to tell them that there was an accidental death. The attorney de la Rosa confirmed it. There was an accidental death and that they needed to come get the body. And then because the doctor vouched for it and the two police officers and that official, they did not even follow protocol and tell them to stay in Mexico because they might have questions, even if it's questions about how did she die? Do you notice that even in that accidental death thing that they're going in, did they bother to send, did they bother to tell them, all right, just stay because we're going to come back tomorrow because we have some questions. You say she was drinking. What did she drink? Where's the alcohol? What's going on? Forget about seeing bruises on her face. Forget about the autopsy that the parents ordered, right? Forget about the autopsy that the parents ordered. They, they're acting like the state did an autopsy. They didn't care. They believed what the doctor told them because the doctor was the one that instructed, it's believed to be Winter Donovan, okay, to call 911 and to give instructions not to come save, but to come pick up a body because she was dead. 14 rounds of CPR, almost unheard of. The autopsy showed no internal damage. After three or four rounds of CPR, your ribs are broken and you get lacerations, I believe, on the, on the uh, liver and also on the spleen. Where was it? Nothing. The, the, even the autopsy report showed that there was no alcohol in the system. At that point, that a doctor, a Mexican doctor, two police officers and an official didn't tell them to stay and they were allowed to leave, okay? The, the attorney general refuses to answer that. They glance over it. Do you see, at least it's beginning to look like to me, they don't want anybody in Mexico to be held accountable with this. Again, hear me when I say the Cabo Six is 100% responsible for this, but the doctor, the doctor helped them get away with murder. The doctor helped them get away with murder. At the very best, she committed criminal medical uh, malpractice, right? Because she couldn't tell since they went by the autopsy and they're taking the autopsy as true, they couldn't, she couldn't tell she was working on a dead body. At worst, she was bribed, she was complicit, and she helped the Cabo Six get away with murder. Now, we don't know if they're going to get away, but I ask you guys this. There's more stuff I'm going to unpack in this, what happened in the live. I ask you this. A country, a system, a police force that let all this slip through the cracks, no shade. Things happen. Things slip through the cracks in America, too. But with it being in Mexico, there's an extra layer of red tape. There's an extra layer of red tape that happens. And the fact that they let this go, and even now, when the Cabo Six should definitely be on the suspect list, but so should the doctor, the two police officers, so should the official. America's investigating them. Do you think that's why they're having so much trouble with extradition? Because America's looking like we are and saying, what are y'all doing over there? What is going on? Who are y'all trying to cover up for? Now, for all those people saying it was a powerful businessman, I don't believe that at all. First of all, those villas are held by an American company. They're not even owned by somebody who is Spanish, let alone Mexican. They are held by a conglomerate. They are, okay? And even for powerful people, if you look at that and there's a lowly doctor, right? Because over in Mexico, it is known that the clinics and the hospitals 
pay for referrals. That's why they call. That's a, a relationship. They oh, they had a pre-existing relationship because when you call, you get a little commission from whoever you sent because when you send somebody over, they know they about that tax those pockets and run those dollars up because these villas are $3,000 a night. So if you're paying $3,000 a night for a villa, oh, I know you can pay an extra thousand, two or three for blood work, paperwork, doctor assistance, okay? If somebody was rich and powerful, why would you want this? Why would you just say, it's the doctor, go ahead and take them, make sure she's persecuted. Why are you protecting this doctor? Has anybody asked why this thing about, oh, it's a rich and powerful man? Why are you protecting a doctor then? Is the doctor the girlfriend? Is the doctor the lover? Is the doctor the little sister? Is the doctor the family? Because I know, like, you know, rich, powerful people, especially we talk about cartel, why would you literally take all of this to protect one person when you can just push them out and let's go. Do you guys know that cartel people get arrested all the time? What wealthy business cartel people literally go to war and obstruct American investigations just so a lowly mule or runner can be protected from what? From what? And if y'all know what I know about the cartel, and yes, what I know is from investigative discovery, but let me just talk my mess. The people that are thrown under the bus by the cartel, they don't say anything because it's not just you. Your family's going to be affected. Yeah, you might be like, yeah, I'm turning state's evidence. I'm talking. I'm singing like a canary. But what about your mom? What about your sister? What about your brother? What about your lover? What about them? Are they going to be okay with you singing? That's how the cartel maintains control. So it's ridiculous to believe that the cartel is, is scared of one person opening their mouth. That's going to bring them all down because people that work for the cartel don't open their mouth. Google it if you don't believe me. But let's get back into this, right? The fact that they didn't say the autopsy was attained, they didn't give credit to the parents for actually bringing them the autopsy. Again, they keep saying it was an accidental death. We found out from the autopsy. If that's the case, you also found out from the autopsy that she was dead at 3 p.m. How could the doctor not know that she was working on a dead body? He would not address that. They would not let comments come through that said that. What's going on? Again, um, but the video came out, the autopsy. If you believe the autopsy enough to believe that that was her cause of death, then you must believe the autopsy enough to believe that was her time of death. If you believe that that was her time of death, then the doctor, those two police officers at the very least, and the emergency medical Red Cross, well, actually the Red Cross people came, no, the emerge no, not the Red Cross people, because they came after the accidental death and they tried to revive her once, even though the doctor was like, oh, no, no, she's dead. From what I understand, they tried to revive her once. So if you believe that, why is the doctor not in jail? Why is the doctor not pro uh, uh, practicing? Why have you not said that a warrant has been issued to the doctor? Because the doctor is the one that let them get away. She helped them get away. The only question is, did she know she was helping them get away or did she have no clue? Again, you believe the autopsy happened at three and they had it and that's what started and that's what got the warrant for Dejeuner. If you believe all that, then why don't you believe that the doctor helped, knowingly helped them get away? Again, and I can't stress this enough. Why do they think it was an actual accidental death? They received a 911 call stating that an accidental death had happened at the villa. The doctor told Winter Donovan According to the police report, it's believed to be Winter Donovan to have them call 911, not to save a life, but to tell them, right? To tell them to come get a body. Body, body, bodies everywhere, like Khalil Cook said, interesting enough. Um, again, Shaquilla's family wants them in jail. Doesn't matter to them if they're American jail or if they're in Mexican jail. They want them in jail. They shouldn't have been allowed to leave Mexico. They should have told them to stay put and we are going to question you tomorrow because even if it is an actual death, we have questions. Where's the alcohol she drank? What's going on? Do murders not happen in Mexico? Do homicides not happen in Mexico? Or do people just say, damn, it was an accident and everybody believes it. I guess they do when a doctor co-signs on it. When two police officers co-sign on it. And what are the and when the the judicial person co-signs on it? And what did the doctor have to base this on? 
not even her own eyes. She, they said, don't even believe your lying eyes. It wasn't even your own eyes. What did they base this on? What the Cabo Six said. She didn't even do her own her own exam. Have you ever walked into a doctor's office and yeah, they ask you, so what's going on? And you're like, oh, I think this and that. And they're just like, uh-huh. And then they chuck you out. Have you ever walked into an emergency room and they ask you, what, why are you here? Oh, because this, uh, okay. And then they check you out for everything it could be. If they believed it was alcohol poisoning, Mexico knows for a fact the doctor did not even follow his criminal negligence protocol. What do you need for alcohol Poisoning, not death, not being drunk, poisoning. You need an incu, you need a tube to bring oxygen. You need an uh, IV bag. You need your stomach pumped. You also need two drugs, I forget their name, administered. Because if they do nothing, you will die from the, oh, and you also need a blood test to determine the blood alcohol level in your system to see how aggressive they should be in the treatment. Every medical pe person says if it is alcohol poisoning, not drunk, not this, but if it's alcohol poisoning, you must be rushed to a hospital immediately because someone outside of a hospital, you do not have the necessary tools to do it. An IV will do nothing and you will die because your blood alcohol concentration level is too high. An IV cannot push it out of alcohol poisoning. Mexico knows of this. The certified doctors in Mexico knows this. That doctor that showed up for Chanquilla knows this. So ask yourself this, and I'm going to leave it with that. Why does anybody feel comfortable supporting an investigation when one of the people who clearly looks like at best they were criminally, medically negligent, medical malpractice, at worst, they were paid and complicit? They, you are trusting an investigation for people that won't even point a finger at their own people, won't bring them in, won't question and will allow no thought of it. Only Americans, get the Americans. And again, the couple six definitely need it, but how can you trust them that they're going to conduct a full investigation? Don't you know by letting the doctor off the hook that also gets alibis to the couple six? Do you know that? Do you know by letting the doctor off the hook that gives an alibi to the Kabul Six. Do you realize that? Do you realize by letting the doctor off the hook, that person that did this is roaming around Kabul's? Do y'all realize? I'm sure you do. But ask yourself more importantly, do you feel comfortable with people that do not seem like they're even doing the basics, heading an investigation? Because what else is something else comes out that makes them look bad or something, an inconvenient truth? Are they going to brush that under the... No. Listen, Mexico... Great investigation, great state. What the heck's happening in this case? A lot of things aren't clicking and it's looking a little suspect. We need to bring this case back home. There is legal precedence. Google the Matthew Taylor case. And then not just him, there's a bunch of legal precedents. Google the case. Google everything. Look at that tourist that just died in Rosarita, California. Let's see, I'm sorry, Rosarita, Mexico. Uh, it is a DA from California. Let's see if they let that be prosecuted in Mexico or if they'll bring it up. It's almost if California knows something about what happens to cases that get prosecuted in, Cal in Mexico and they want that back up here. You guys, I'm researching this. Again, the attorney general can't give us anything because they're not allowed by law to say that. But even though uh, anything new updates, uh, they would actually notify uh, the public first, right? Before they came to YouTube. But I will say this, the information that he has given and confirmed makes me think there's a whole lot of wrong going on and we need to bring this case back as soon as possible, y'all. Let me know what uh, you think in the comments, but I'll tell you one thing, standing next to the Cabo Six should be those two police officers and that doctor, 100%. We know it. Mexico knows it. The FBI knows it. That's why they're investigating. So why isn't it happening? Y'all bring this case home so we can put pressure on a legal system and investigate a process that we know, we understand. But what's more, there will be repercussions. Because I will say one thing, if an investigation doesn't go right in America, y'all know what happens. There's reviews, there's this, there's appeals, there's repercussions. What happens in Mexico? We can't even like... 
everything is so opaque, even in investigation. Do you really trust? Man, anyway, let me know what you think in the comments and I'll talk to y'all later.